Hi, it's me, Harriet, and happy Halloween. Today, I'm going to read a story that I wrote when I was younger. Um, it's kind of spooky Halloween type stuff. Hickory Dickory Dock. The cow jumped over the moon. The cow only jumped to save a spoon as Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall and, of course, had to fall. Row your boat down a stream as life is but a dream. Then came along the Jabberwocky, the beast who beat up the boogeyman under your bed. As his blood dripped under your new sheets, the boogeyman told you of a yeti, a yeti who could shove you off your sled next winter. Next winter, beware. There's more a nightmare to come from a few nursery rhymes. Then a banshee followed you home, and your legs turned to jelly because you knew someone was watching you. Stalking. Shivers and chills ran down your spine as all the scary things climbed out of your book of nursery rhymes. Then all of a sudden, screech, the time has come. You lock the door, but you can still see the dead, rotting fingers grip the cracks. Just to see you squirm. A witch steps out of the biggest gingerbread man you've ever seen and makes her way toward you. You call for your parents to check for the monster hiding in the closet. They just laugh and say there is no monster. The next day, you play Ring Around the Rosy, Pocket Full of Posy. Ashes, ashes, we all fell down the rabbit hole into the looking glass. Kiss a frog, instead of a prince, you get a witch. She reminds you of a banshee mixed with your ma. Shivers run down your spine. Row, row, row your boat, gently down the stream. Away to see the wild things. They threaten to eat you. What do you do now? Scream? Screaming doesn't help when your worst fears are climbing their way out of your old nursery book. You hear from a distance, I'm on the 13th step and I'm going to get you. It's the creepiest voice you've ever heard when you remember that your parents aren't home to save you from your nightmares of the bloody boogeyman and poor Humpty Dumpty falling into the dark. Death helps and shivers and chills down your back with the darkness so dark it wraps around you until you can't breathe. What is going on, you think? All of a sudden, you see an army of zombies, werewolves, witches, yetis, Gingerbread men, ghosts, and poltergeists, dolls, etc. Why you? Why does all the worst cave in on your shoulders? They surround you. You scream. They get closer and closer. You shut your eyes tight, calling for someone to help you. No one comes. The creepy army of evil fairy tales just gets closer until they're almost touching. You can feel their hot breath on your neck. You're shaking with fear. Then one by one, they give you the biggest hugs. And you open your eyes. And the number of creepy things are diminishing and gathering to equal your parents' smile. You realize it was just your dreams. No screaming now. Thanks for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed that story. If you'd like me to read other stories that I've written, please let me know down in the comments. And have a happy Halloween. Bye!